Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, there was once a Japanese chef residing in Italy who started to gain name. His skills were endorsed by the great Visani. He was slated to become the very best Italian chef in Japan upon his return. He did in fact return to Japan, but did not cook at all, and we lost track of his whereabouts. I so desire to meet him, to taste the dishes praised by this Sani himself. So I contacted the top Italian restaurants in Japan to search for him again, without success. Recently, I found out why. He is no longer walking the path he followed in Italy. Believe it or not, we found him driving a food delivery truck. Today's challenger, the lost legend, Italian chef Koji Kobayashi. It was at age 22 when he chose to pursue cooking as a career. And after training in Japan for seven years, he left for Italy and luckily was accepted by one of the top restaurants, Visani. The owner and chef of the restaurant, John Franco Visani, is also referred to as the madman for his stubbornness and obsessiveness towards cooking. For instance, all the ingredients he uses are homemade. He even keeps his own sturgeons in a lake for caviar. And he is often known to question the textbook approach of cooking and refuses to make the same recipe twice. Incredible. John Franco has enough confidence to feel that his dishes are perfect, and he proves that quite easily. He used to say, you want to know why I made it like this? Because, because it's good. Visani was very much fond of Kobayashi and appointed him head chef of his restaurant, the first Japanese chef to gain that position. It did not take long for the news to spread to the kitchens in Japan, and many restaurant owners were longing for Kobayashi's return. But Kobayashi turned all the offers down. There's the work that I've done, the work that I want to do, and the work that I can do. But I just couldn't find a restaurant that uh, met my high standards. And so Kobayashi chose to drive a delivery truck. He did try to serve at a kitchen, but dissatisfied soon returned behind the wheel. Kobayashi only cooks occasionally for his wife and child. Kobayashi's dishes are gems spun from his imagination, and like his master, he refuses to make the same thing twice. Thus, chefs in Japan refer to him as Mad Kobayashi. So now, Kobayashi, awaken the giant within you. Liberate your inspirations and fulfill your desires in the kitchen stadium. After hearing the theme ingredient, if I get a good inspiration, you're looking at the winner.
An intriguing challenger today, chef turned to truck driver, but trained by an Italian master, don't take him lightly. And here with us to check it out, TV personality, Eriko Kusuda, welcome. Thank you very much. Kusuda-san, I understand you know a lot about food. What? <laughs> That's what I was told. <laughs> That's just a rumor, but it's true that I never miss this show every single week. So I'm so honored just to be here in this studio today. Really? I'm thrilled, absolutely. You are? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Now let's welcome Chairman Kaga. Kyokino. <laughs> ドリニ。彼を知る者は皆口を揃えてそう言います。あのイタリア料理の最高峰ビッサーニで、チーフシェフを務めていながら、日本では自分の満足のできる店がないと、トラックの運転手をしている男。こだわりという言葉は彼の
Despite the light shining today on a dark horse, the fire still burns for a man trying to take down Iron Chef Chen. Challenger Kobayashi is mad as his master and he's not going to take it any longer. Ready to show he can cook with the best. Let's get it on. On a Kaisen! Bang a gong, we are on. The mad one, Koji Kobayashi, taking on Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, an unlikely theme for both dock pumpkins. Yeah, and three varieties we can see there today. The small ones that you see right there, they're indigenous to Japan. They're called the Kurakawa pumpkin. And the striped ones are Ebisu pumpkin. Um, and the orange ones, perhaps you've seen these during Halloween, they're a Western variety. Uh, now they're also growing in Japan as well. So, and you mentioned the challenger earlier, his nickname, Mad Kobayashi, as it suggests. Oh, is that right? He just refuses yep. to repeat the same recipe. Yeah. Did you notice his sharp eyes there? He's Piercing, uh, cold-blooded yeah, look. Uh, Scary a little bit. Yeah. Mm. But as soon as he heard the theme, I caught him grinning. What do you think that was about? I think it was something he didn't really want. Uh -huh. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I thought, too. Mm -hmm. To me, it was more something like, hey, way to go. From mm -hmm. the floor, Shinichiro to go. Yeah, I think I have the answer to that. Challenger Kobayashi was mumbling to himself right after Kagasan announced the theme. He was saying things like, oh, great. Pumpkin, my wife hates pumpkin, I hardly touch it. <laughs> Chef Kobayashi was not a happy camper. Well, probably the last thing he thought he'd get. <laughs> right. Oh boy. So that's what the grin was for. May have know. wanted something with a bit more heft, mm. a meatier theme, if you will, and now he's got a chicken that he's chopping up. Have to see that how he works that in with pumpkin though. Meantime, Iron Chef slicing away at this one mm. with his cleaver, thin slices. And with Szechuan food not being hot, right? Uh, right Just wonder yeah. how he's going to manage with pumpkin, kind of uh, in sweet and his hot and spicy. Mm. Right. We'll yeah, to watch, yeah. Yes. Iron Chef Chen asked how he feels about today's theme, said, hey, my brain is like a pumpkin right now. I don't have enough time to do this right for my Chinese dishes. There's not enough time for steaming. He sounded a little unsure of himself, a little weak in the knees. Chen up against it, and now on Kobayashi's side, big pot, herbs on top. Oh, you've got that Maybe right. Maybe for a soup or stock? Mm. I would guess for a soup or a stew, but can't be too sure. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of that pot, Challenger Kobayashi is using those ingredients to make an Italian version of the broth of vigor. In Italian, it's called brodo, I believe. All right, right here. All right, so that was it. Lots okay. of herbs, and let's see, some celery in there, I think, and some, uh, I let's, think, onions. Yeah, yes. it's a very typical mm -hmm. Italian cuisine so far, yeah. I've been to the Visani in Italy. You have? Oh, yes, and the taste was out of this world, and the service was so impressive. Wow, so you're saying yes. mm -hmm. that you have actually been there. Yes, that's right. You Tab picked up by the one. show? <laughs> no, no, it was private. <laughs> oh, glad to see that some things still are. <laughs> <laughs> that's about halfway from Rome to Florence, that's right? That's right. All right, okay. now Chen scooping out the seeds here. Mm-hmm, yeah, you can see him doing that. What do that. you think? Going to stuff it? That would be the logical gesture. Mm -hmm. Definitely something needs to be stuffed in there. All right. Hmm, what's this? Okay, think this is on oh, Chen's is side. This? Oh, okay. oh, this is Swallow's Nest. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry, Hattori-san, these aren't Swallow's Nest, these are shark fins. Oh, okay, sorry, folks. Uh -huh. Correction <laughs> noted. <laughs> My mistake. It's just so far from here. Okay. You know where that'll, we're go, that'll go for soup, then. <laughs> uh, not too sure yet. Okay, now back on Kobayashi's side. Got a big one there. We got some red snapper. And some scallops. All right, yeah, scallops. scallops and red snapper. Challenger with seafood. Mm, looking good. That snapper looks great, oh, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Fukuzan. And a nice filet job, yes. The Challenger's planning to have the following dishes on his menu an appetizer, a soup, a main dish, and a dessert for a total of four. All right, thanks, wow. Ota. Now on the Iron Chef side, one of the assistants there grading hmm. some pumpkin. Wonder, it looks like about. carrots almost. Yeah, I gotta it believe it's like pumpkin. A pumpkin, pumpkin to me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure does. Right. Yeah, all right, your eyes are better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Want to wager a little? This will end up as a dessert. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure yeah, there. It could be. It could, could be. very well You're be, right. yeah. Mm. Well, just a hunch. Mm -hmm. Some grated yeah. pumpkin there. Mm -hmm. All right, he could be rolling it up to make a dumpling of sorts as well. Okay, and now there are some, uh, on the challenger side, some thin slices of snapper. Oh, yeah, very thin. Look oh, at that. Wow. Courtesy of challenger Kobayashi mm -hmm. with this one in pumpkin. What could he be possibly be doing? Perhaps a carpaccio, uh, a red snapper carpaccio. Yeah, I'm leaning sort? towards that mm -hmm. as well, yeah. Okay, while on the other side, the Iron Chef making some pumpkin shoestrings here. Double slice action by <laughs> Chen. Well, there are so many ways to shape a pumpkin, you know. The Iron Chef is putting in a lot of care in slicing that up there, that yeah. pumpkin. And in 
Chinese, this technique you see is called su. Su? Yeah. Yeah, it means uh, like needles. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef also plans to make four dishes, including a dessert. Back to you. All Ooh. right, thanks. Your four against my four. Both men gunning for a quartet of pumpkin-based dishes. Now back to Kobayashi. And oh, look, okay. he's making a uh, mulch of the yeah, snapper yeah, salami. Like wow. Yeah, I'm mm. guessing he could probably put this in a blender and make a paste that would be stuffed into mm. something else. Sounds uh, very uh, good yeah, to me. Could be. Mm. So into the blender the next I step. Would, I would think, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not in its final form right now that you see definitely oh okay so it turned out this way all right iron chef here Whoa, and sugar a, cubes dumped in them, yeah for what uh dessert ah, definitely. Right. yeah mm. okay okay and there were some white mushrooms mm -hmm. as well yes yes so, I saw yeah those. that would be for the dessert uh -huh, as well uh -huh. yeah it's starting to smell kind of sweet now isn't it mm -hmm. but the uh, sugar cubes they're not breaking up there well it's uh like rock sugar and i think that's what he wants it will melt in the end but it, it sustains itself this way all it's right. a lot mm. thicker than the normal sugar okay and there he goes chen taste testing <laughs> really <laughs> pondering that one or savoring the sweetness of it, the Iron Chef. Okay, what's he got here? All right, he's got some... Um, oh, that's uh, Chinese apricot wine. Ah, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And that taste is? Um, it's sweet, but still has a bit of a, a sour taste as well to it. Mm -hmm. so it's very aromatic okay, as well. Okay, and yeah. now Kobayashi, a study in concentration, cutting that up. That's uh, Karasumi. Dried mullet roe. Yeah. Wow. They have this in Italy? Well, we think of it as coming from China, but actually in the ancient days it did come from Europe around Italy. Ought to be interesting here. Mm. And he's mixing it up with the red snapper. All right, blended. Chopped up red snapper, mm. dried mm. mullet roe. Mm, wow. This is very interesting. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Tough guy to chart, even Doc coming up empty on Kobayashi. He mixed it in with the red snapper. All oh, right, blended. Chopped up red snapper, dried mullet <laughs> roe. Wow. <laughs> this is very interesting. I mm. have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Tough guy to chart, even Doc coming up empty on Kobayashi. He's not following any rules so far. <laughs> Plus, he's been away. <laughs> now Chen needing some dough, pumpkin in it, looks like. Uh, oh. Some rice flour, I think, ah, is what he's got be, there. Could be, could uh be. -huh. Yeah, I think so, mm. yeah. All right. And combined with pumpkin there, look. Mixed together. Uh -huh. So maybe to steam it. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, just to confirm what's in the uh, bowl that the Iron Chef is now kneading like a dough, grated pumpkin, rice flour, rice starch, oh, okay. this is going to be his dessert. All right, oh. dessert with the grated pumpkin and rice flour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally you have uh, two types of uh, Pumpkin rice flour, dumplings for mm. dessert. And what is, uh, what is this here? This is Kobayashi with... Um, is it mascarpone? Ah, yes. Is oh, it? Okay. It's cheese, right? A, a type of cheese, yeah, mm. but normally this would be used for dessert. Mm. Hmm, all right. So, tiramisu, um, you know that, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, they mix coffee and other things into that with the cheese. Sounds mm. good. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. The challenger tells me that besides pumpkin, today's theme for him is racing against the clock. Like most challengers, he's quite concerned about the lack of time. All right, Ooh. he's probably had to do that driving the delivery truck, making the rounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, look at this. The Iron Chef. Okay, Iron Chef is making, like, it's like gnocchi almost. And Dropping them in right there. <laughs> a pumpkin gnocchi. Wow. But this is an Italian dish, right? So <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> using the pumpkin dough mm. for these. Right, pumpkin and a rice flour mixed together. Yellow pumpkin dumplings right there. <laughs> well, if you dropped it in front of an Italian, they would say gnocchi. They you know? certainly would, wouldn't they? All right. Uh -huh. Let's see Kobayashi now over the mascarpone there. Yeah. Oh, the chestnut honey, I think. Yes. Yeah, what? yeah. What? That's taken from chestnut flowers. Okay, get a closer look ah, at that yes, one there. Pastagna. It is chestnut. That's yeah, right. Mm -hmm. right. Chestnut yeah, honey. Thought, right? Adding mm -hmm. that to the mix. Mm -hmm. Great idea. It's a wonderful honey. Now, mm -hmm. yeah. Any reason for this type great. of uh, any reason for this type of honey? Uh, I think this guy just has his own policies, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. All right, and laying that on a thick honey and mixing that in there. Wow, mm. the Iron Chef now in front of the chopping block, cleaver at the ready, and let's see, he's got himself a sizable block of meat right <laughs> wow. there. Yeah, yes, that's uh, beef sure sirloin. There, there is the beef. <laughs> <laughs> Would have to be for main dish, right? It has to be that size. Nice sure. looking sirloin. <laughs> wow. And Chen, away he goes. But now, how do you work pumpkin in with beef? No idea. I noticed he pulled out the. Okay, and on the cutting here. board here, and a slice mm -hmm. into that. For wrapping? Something? Wrap it and steam it normally. Okay, and just passing the halfway point, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go in an Italian Chinese cross cuisine battle with pumpkin. Fukuzan? Yes. The challenger has three pots simmering on the stove. Commenting on those, he says two will become sauces, and the other one is for a soup. A trio mm -hmm. boiling away there. Mm -hmm. Two for sauces, one for soup. Okay, and I think the one that's 
closest to us is, is going to be the soup. This one here, the I, green I and orange? I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other two behind then? Those would be the sauces. Okay, uh, and what would you say, one sure. of the sauces perhaps going for the uh, snapper dish? Uh, ooh, I would think so, yeah. Definitely. Okay, okay. yes. Yeah, this is also from the challenger side, referring back to his anxiety about the clock. I asked him why he's so pressed on time, and he replied, hey, you should ask the pumpkin that question. I'm not sure exactly what that means, so I'll just send it back to you. <laughs> All right. Huh? Well, he told us to, uh, you know. Blame it on, uh, blame it on the pumpkin. Right, right. so pumpkin is difficult to handle, well, would you say? Well, obviously huh? in one hour, yes. <laughs> Choice of theme, not quite a dream. More like a Halloween nightmare oh. for the challenger. Oh, check this out. Ah, uh, uh, yes, pumpkin and beef wrapped hey, up, like you said. Just like mm -hmm. I called. Mm -hmm. All right, Iron Chef wrapping up pumpkin and beef together in lotus yeah. leaves. Mm. Chalk one up for Doc. Yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. I think I mentioned he'll probably steam this. On to the steamer then. Yes, indeedy do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meantime, the challenger now, and I believe, yes, look what he's broken out there. Okay, well, we don't have to tell you Foie what those are. Foie gras in the baking pan. Oh, okay. yes. And some caviar mm. oh, yes. there, too. Caviar, okay. too. Well. And garlic and scallops. Wow. An effort wow. here looking to include a couple of the mm. most exquisite of delicacies. Challenger Kobayashi cooking the way he wants to. No compromises. And now his blender in action. Looks like some sort of sauce. Mm. And steam coming off that one should be hot in there. Mm. That one it is. Yeah. Remember Ota said the, the two pans were for sauces? Right. I think this is probably from one of those pans. Okay, so one of the sauces off the stove into the blender for further processing, and now the Iron Chef laying down a kind of a sauce here at the bottom of these bowls. Mm hmm, you're right. And what do you think? Something else to go on top oh, of this? Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. All right. And, and that'd be for steaming as well. Okay, so uh -huh, something else yeah. to go in on top of this and then move on to the steamer. You can uh, bet the farm on okay, that Okay, not as is. <laughs> no, it definitely needs to be have something else with it, right? It can't mm. just be an as is like that. Mm. Okay, now still on the Iron Chef side, these pumpkin slices going into the oven right now? Mm-hmm, and he's putting it into the oven so it'll get a nice light brown surface. Okay, mm. going to get a little broiling action going. And now the challenger, let's see, scallop in hand, he's got some meat there too. I think to be exact, you'd call it a raw ham. Okay, and they've already prepared some thin slices of this. Yeah. And look, it's for a oh, wrap job. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this would be. I know it's for an antipasto. I, okay. I know. I know. You're like the kid who raises his hand in class every answer. I know. I know. <laughs> well, how about this now on Chen's side? Okay, this I think is going to. He's going to harden it on the bottom first. Okay, that yellow sauce that went into the bowls. Huh. Right, and that becomes a, a bottom layer, and he pours something on top. Oh, so okay. it's a, a double decker type. All of right, thing. you've got me convinced. I'm positive. <laughs> okay. Both sides picking it up a bit. Ah. Kobayashi replenishing, and now 20 minutes left. What was that? The Iron Chef. How am I going to finish this? Chan. <laughs> oh, I just got tired is what I am, you know? Look at him. He is sweating bullets over there. And that, his hat sweat soaked around his forehead. Oh but taste testing away. And looking very it good. It looks great, doesn't yeah. it? Okay, and now Kobayashi, check it out. Starting to saute that foie gras stainless steel pan. Yes. I think the pressure is getting to the challenger. He's mumbling again, saying it's all beginning to look the same. It all looks like pumpkin. It all tastes like pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin on the brain, well. on the taste bud. Oh, oh, check out the Iron oh, Chef how here. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, and pumpkin wow. in that wreath, yes, too. Purple yeah. and orange. That's the ones that he browned uh, in the oven. Okay, the mm. slice is coming out, going on right here. Mm. And as you can all attest to, just baked pumpkin is great oh, as yes. well, right? Uh -huh. And with the pumpkin shoestrings or needles ringing the outside, mm -hmm. and perhaps some meat could be going with this one, could be possible, right? Yeah, well, remember he was sauteing the scallops and the raw ham hey, as well, right? Anything's possible here. <laughs> all right, and the scallops wrapped in thin slices of Italian ham being fried in pan by Kobayashi could be enjoyed with one or two of his pumpkin sauces, perhaps? Yes, I would think so. That would have to be, I'm uh -huh. sure of it, yeah. Okay, so the red snapper, ham and scallops, dessert, three of the four dishes we're able to get a bit of a handle on. Yeah, three we've pretty much got sauce. Okay, but. now the Iron Chef still hustling, no slowdown, making his way back to the stove for some walk action here. Oh, I know, as, again, <laughs> this looks like <laughs> mapo dofu, the, the hot bean paste yep. uh, it's got in there yeah remember that mm -hmm. item he is frying he's gonna make that a hot item uh, all right okay you see watch this uh, okay. okay there, there we go uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. oh you're looking at pure Szechuan style mm. yeah, yeah it looks spicy. great this is his forte mm. you know no more Italian dishes I guess okay firing <laughs> away and mm, mm. wonderful aroma <laughs> oh, absolutely wonderful you know this job can get your stomach growling <laughs> I know, I'm Definitely. getting very hungry here <laughs> all right 15 minutes left back to Kobayashi and what now this is a carpaccio uh, 
Uh, no, not Carpaccio, Tartar. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. okay, I, okay, I stand corrected. Tartar on the Fukuzan. way. Yes. I asked Chanja Kobayashi how he's doing on time, and I think he's getting his second wind. He was very upbeat. He said, hey, I'm on a roll now. Leave it to me. <laughs> All right. Says he's finally got a handle on it, but look, him, look at him scurry around. Three quarters of this battle, feeling squeezed by the theme, but says now he's got it under control. Leave the driving. Leave the cooking to him. <laughs> Challenger Koji Kobayashi. All right, says he's finally got a handle on it, but look at him scurry around. Three quarters of this battle feeling squeezed by the theme, but says now he's got it under control. Leave the driving, the cooking to him. <laughs> Challenger Koji Kobayashi and carefully arranging the diced pieces of pumpkin in the center of the plates here. And I believe that one is the uh, foie gras there. Yeah, you're correct. And waiting to see how he proceeds with that. But boy, this effort by Kobayashi is beginning to really take shape. Yeah, now if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef over okay, here. And Whoa, right there. Isn't oh. that pretty? Wow. wow. Looks Gorgeous. like a big flower and all oh. kinds of goodies assembled in that dish that, by Iron Chef Chen. Yeah, that does seem to be the motif for this dish. Wow. Yeah. Now, we can swing back to the challenger again. All right, Kobayashi. I think I saw him starting something here. Oh, what's he got here? Huh. I'm not too sure yet what he's... Could be some dark sesame seeds and salt, maybe? There's no label on that one. Yeah. Um, on. Looks like yeah. poppy seeds. Huh? Oh, poppy seeds, you think? Y yes, go ahead. Yes, you're exactly right. They are poppy seeds. Okay, okay. poppy seeds. More Looks like more like uh, gr grated granite in there or something. <laughs> All right, well, that's what they are. Yeah, they're the blue poppy seeds. Ooh. All right, never seen them before. Mm -hmm. Now, you catch what they're being mixed with? Uh, bread crumbs here. Okay, so some kind of batter coating. Right, mm -hmm. frying them up later. Uh -huh. Kobayashi getting it in high gear. Now, the Iron Chef side, look at this, that moose type substance he had is hardened. Mm -hmm. Okay, a moose it was. Now, what's he going to put on top of that? That is the question, yeah. yes. Oh, okay, hang on. The shark fin soup looks like ah, he's getting ready to put on. That's it, so double layered. Shark kind fin of. soup to go mm -hmm. on top. Okay, so a double layered shark fin soup. You'd, you're supposed to scoop it out with a spoon so you can get both layers at the mm -hmm. same time. Sounds great. Ten All right, go. 10 minutes left. Okay, well, that was just for pouring on, not for frying. Okay, that's okay. a surprise. Yeah, very surprising. So, uh, Kobayashi-inspired twist here. It is a great idea, though. Wow, and it mm, looks beautiful. so pretty, doesn't mm, it? Mm -hmm. And the color component scheme of that one certainly has some visual appeal and uh, textural elements as well. All in all, that one looking very fine, and now it's just a matter of time and taste. The <laughs> panel members will have their chance to pass judgment on the dish and the others being prepared by Kobayashi. Yeah, yeah now if we can go back over to the Iron Chef here. All right, Chen. He's starting to, starting the, top. the final process okay, here. Okay, yeah. top Topping the moose with shark fin soup. That's the double layer dish. Pumpkin moose resting at the bottom of these bowls. Delectable mm, looking yeah. soup mm, right there. Soup wow. on top. Wow. Going right on mm. top. And boy, that looks heavenly. And now, more of the mascarpone there. Right, that was the cheese that we discussed earlier. A kind of right. cheese. Yeah, and it's a mix of the two items we saw in there yes, as well. Yes, he had put that in the refrigerator. Right, right, right. Well. So this will be his dessert. Uh -huh. All right, a pumpkin tiramisu. Yeah, that's, that's a great way to put it, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's see Iron Chef Chen now. He mm. is slowing down somewhat. And look at the fixin' set up right there. Yeah, Ooh. this would be his dessert now, the one with the white mushrooms that we uh -huh. saw earlier. Yeah. Okay, so these are white mushrooms. Yeah, I think he'll put the dumplings together with this mixture you see here. Oh, uh, okay, these together. Right, uh -huh. exactly, that's it. Yeah. All right, and he's got the du the dumplings in ice water cooling them down, and now Chen stepping on the gas once again. <laughs> Challenger Kobayashi still scrambling around, a man who knows all about applying the gas pedal, <laughs> does not cook professionally, drives a delivery truck for a living, but here today, Living in the moment. <laughs> no, we're on the Iron Chef. No, the challenger okay, side. Sorry, challenger, yeah. Here's okay. the Iron Chef working on the dessert okay, dish that? and a shot of the broiler there. Something is in it. Uh, I think it's a plate. Okay, a reheat job. Oh, oh no, wait, no, he is baking something. What is it? Oh, okay, let me explain. He's going to to bake these. Um, the ones with the poppy seeds. Exactly, the the breadcrumbs. Uh, okay. One, yeah, and there, there's more to it as well. There's uh, the type of sauce. Okay, uh -huh. poppy seeds, breadcrumbs, topped item. There, getting heat mm. from above. Right, and the, what you see going on there, it's not balsamic vinegar. It's a wine vinegar. Oh, okay. I see. Uh -huh. I was wondering what that was earlier. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and this one looking about done. He pretty much, yeah. Mm. Fine looking dish. Beautiful. Yeah, he is oh. very skilled, isn't he? Absolutely wonderful. Sauce oh. around, caviar on top, and. 
Kobayashi doing justice to pumpkin in that one. Yeah. Pumpkin never had it so good. <laughs> now, the Iron Chef's dessert with the pumpkin dumplings. Yeah, and you see how it went on top there? And colorful too. Beautiful. Yeah, that will be mm. the sweet dish. There it goes. This one here? Yeah, yeah. Ah. definitely. And he's using two types of sugar too. Okay, it'll get a good sugar soaking. So that's how it turned out. That's the final product. And it's going to have that uh, Chinese apricot wine oh, flavor wow. as well. All right, mm. almost feel like starting with dessert. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're right. It's just like wow. a tiramisu. That one looking fine too. Yeah. We've got dueling desserts and a minute to go. The final 60 seconds. Again, Kobayashi putting it in high gear, scurrying about the kitchen, comes back armed with the light green, most likely pumpkin based sauce and laying it on thick down and around the ham wrapped fried scallops. Wow. This is a mouth watering sight from the challenger. <laughs> oh boy. One of his two sauces ending up right here on this one. And the one you see here is an antipasto or an appetizer. Ah, uh, must be. Yeah. Man alive, you'd have to be hard pressed to come up with a better starting dish utilizing pumpkin than this one by Challenger Kobayashi, showing us indeed he can cook with the best of them. Iron Chef side now got the cabbage leaves as the platform for a dish that's not quite finished yet. And he's also got a sauce to go with one of them and pulling back, taking a look at his dishes and an exhausted Iron Chef. Kobayashi, stubborn and as hard as nails, a desire to have things done his way. Chen now, the surly and pumpkin wrapped in lotus leaves going on the cabbage on the plates right there. Both men have flat out floored it the whole way. Final seconds tick down and that's it. The pumpkin battle is over. Now, you seem to be pressed on time in the first half, but how was it overall? Oh, I was in the weeds from the get-go. The whole time? Yeah. And you're known for coming up with new recipes. Uh, how yeah. did they turn out today? Oh, well, I did pretty good. Uh -huh. I'm satisfied, but you know, if I had more time, well, I could have done a whole lot more. Oh, so they're not 100% then? Well, at this point, it's 100%. Perfect as they can be, okay. And how about a win prediction? Well, yeah, I owe it to the work that uh, my assistants pulled off today. All right, yeah. so a definite victory today, yeah. then. Once again, great oh, job. Thanks. When you finished, you shouted yeah. that you were tired. Still feel oh, that way? Healthy workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, did yeah. things go as planned in there? I don't usually use pumpkins in main dishes. You of know? course. In this battle, you, you have to use like the main item. Right. Eh, okay, I think. Uh huh. Okay, great. Yeah. And what do you think about yes. uh, Kobayasan? Kobayashi. Yes. Yeah, he's a pretty big name now. It was uh -huh. an honor to cook with him today. Uh, I did my best. As yeah. always. Challenger Kobayashi is offering four dishes. First, red snapper tartare with pumpkin sauce. An Italian stock rearranged with pumpkin mixed in creates the sauce for this one. The sweetness of pumpkin is offset nicely by the saltiness of caviar. Second, pumpkin soup. The soup is packaged with sauteed scallops and ham. Here, the sweetness of pumpkin is suppressed by ginger juice, which also helps make for a soothing aftertaste. Third, pumpkin and foie gras gratin foie gras on top of sautéed pumpkin. The surface is coated with the combination of poppy seeds and breadcrumbs, giving it a savory touch. Last for dessert, pumpkin ice cream. He manages to control the sweetness of pumpkin from overpowering the dish, incorporating a touch of sourness by adding balsamic vinegar. Iron Chef Chen counters with his set of four. First, stir-fried pumpkin and prawns. The sweetness of pumpkin and the spicy hot bean paste achieve a pleasant harmony in the stir-fried dish. Both raw and cooked pumpkin are used, creating a texture contrast. Second, pumpkin mousse topped with shark fin soup. What a dish! Shark fin and crab meat soup topping a pumpkin mousse platform for an overall soothing experience. Third, pumpkin and beef steamed in lotus leaf. Here, the Iron Chef uses a variety of herbs that give depth to the flavors found in his main dish. Last, pumpkin dumpling dessert with two kinds of sugar. The textures of the pumpkin dumpling and slightly sweetened bell pepper strike a marvelous balance. The Mad Visani, a genius in modern Italian cooking. A Japanese man trained under him for three years. Upon returning to Japan, the right opportunity is yet to come, so he drives a truck. Today's challenger, Koji Kobayashi. But he's cooking in Kitchen Stadium today, doing it his way against Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. Two days away from Halloween, why not? Three varieties of pumpkin. And challenger Kobayashi keeps on trucking, finishing a set of four dishes. Iron Chef Chen, motoring in high gear himself, also finishes with the foursome. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the pumpkin battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, TV show hostess Eriko Kusuda, 
and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of challenger Kobayashi. Pumpkins is pumpkins, but under their tough exterior, you know, it's just orange flesh. But you know, by combining the pumpkins with other things, you can awaken their essence and reveal new flavors. And that's what I wanted to show in my dishes. This is so luxurious. The pumpkin and the wine. There are just so many other things in this. I can recognize the pumpkin easily. It's good. The caviar is doing its job. The mullet row is strong too. And the red snapper is very present. All elements are harmonized beautifully in this. And the gentleness of the pumpkin comes out intermittently, I think. That's how I describe this dish. The color of this is completely that of a pumpkin, but it's hard to believe that it is one. How can I describe this? Uh, it's getting uh, philosophical. The contrast of ingredients in this is very good. This tastes marvelous. When I put this in my mouth, it's like discovering one surprise after another. And now what we need is a great wine. <laughs> exactly. I can say that this is a work of genius. <laughs> now Kobayashi will add the finishing touch, the sauce, to his dessert. He tricked us again, didn't he? Mascarpone and pumpkin. And when you hear these two names, you'd imagine something sweeter. Plus, it was dessert. But, you know, this was so refreshing. This is so complex, yet so soothing in texture. The texture and the flavor, just as you said, and I think that sauce that was poured on at the end has so much impact. This is really good. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. This is very nice. The pumpkin, you know, it's like eggplant in texture. And the dried shrimps, they're just so spicy. This is really a wonderful pumpkin dish. When one cooks pumpkin, one tends to make it a bit too soft. But the pieces in this dish maintain a firm texture and almost seem to be declaring their very pumpkinness. <laughs> Unlike the firm texture of the last pumpkin dish, these pumpkins seem to be saying that, hey, we can be flamboyant too. It kind of a, a bit of surprise in this one, you know. We have to mix it ourselves before eating it. Then the temperature becomes just right. It's very nice, actually. I like the texture, but flavor-wise, this could be just a bit too sour for me. But then again, that's uh, just how I see it. This is a famous Sichuan recipe using pumpkin. A uh, country-style sort of dish, a bit spicy. I can tell this is pumpkin. And then later, deep in my throat, I start to recognize the spiciness and sweetness. Nice, nice combination. The intense energy of the pumpkin yeah. nurtured within it over time mm. is condensed totally in this dish, you know? And you can feel it all in your mouth. The sweetness, the hotness, and even the bitterness, they all sort of leap out, almost revel in the mouth. It feels like that to me. This really reminded me of the old days. This sure doesn't taste like a pumpkin dish. And the bell pepper, it's only slightly sweetened. And that seems to control this very sweet dish. Now, for me, this might just be for me, this is a really new kind of dessert. It's delicious. This is very nice. I'm very happy to be here. Tough call, no ordinary delivery driver. Can the verdict be delivered to him? Italian no Kamisaba, Jean Franco Visani no Ajo, Kyo Kokode, Saigen Stecreta, Chosen. Lurio Stere Sono Meo Mite. Mad
と呼ばれているゆえんがよくわかりましたもしあなたがハンドルを包丁に持ち替えたなら日本のイタリア料理界はもっともっとレベルアップすると思いますそれでは発表します Refusing to make the same dish the same way twice, the philosophy of the master, the Mad Vasani, and today his devoted pupil, challenger Kobayashi, truly rising to that caliber. But all the platitudes will mean nothing unless he wins. Iron Chef Chen really putting out. Can he stop Kobayashi from pulling out of here with the win? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Chosenshaw Kobayashi Koji! Unbelievable! It's the challenger, Kobayashi! My goodness, a man who drives a truck comes in here today and rolls right over the Iron Chef. An Italian cuisine chef who has not compromised his standards stands tall as the winner of this one. Wife and child loving it, and so is Mad Kobayashi. On this day, he rules the Gourmet Academy. This one's for you, Koji Kobayashi. Thank、you